in this video I'm sharing with you how I transformed this what I believe is a handmade dresser into this cottage style like vibe type <laughs> so I start by lightly sanding this down um, and then the back was kind of flimsy and it was kind of broken so we decided to just go ahead and replace it and then I went ahead and primed it with Dixie Belle Boss in white um, and I thought uh, I thought that I could get away with just one coat because that is all I had <laughs> and I'm on a budget so I went ahead and primed it and I did not see any bleed through However, you're going to see further down this video that that was not the case and I really should have just stuck with the two coats that you're supposed to do and I should have just gone and bought the freaking extra jar because that's what I ended up doing anyways. But anyway, don't skip this process. If you feel that you need to prime for whatever reason, do two coats. <laughs> you're never going to get away with one. And if you do, good for you. I'm, I, I'm rooting for you. So I primed the whole piece including the drawers. Um, I had no issues with the drawers whatsoever. I only had bleed through on one side of the dresser. Um, however, I ended up doing the two uh, extra coats of primer on both sides just in case I didn't want any surprises at the end. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, I'm just priming away here because why not? Why not? I really do like this primer, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think it works tremendously and it's easy to apply. You can use it on a spray um, gun if you if that's your jam. Um, I think you have to water it down a little bit though, but I found this to be very easy. I did use the Dixie Belle Scarlet brush, so yeah, and then I just let it dry and then I sand it down, wipe it down, and then I get on to painting. So I'm painting this and Dixie Belle's Tea Rose. I'm obsessed and I think obsessed is an understatement um, I love this pink it's just it's perfect it's just perfect um, however I did find that it looked different here than in a previous piece I had painted either way I love it I will say um, when it comes to pic taking pictures it's almost impossible to get your pictures to look exactly how this color or like to get this color look exactly how it looks in real life onto your pictures but i edited as best as possible and it must have worked because like i i sold it i sold it so <laughs> but yeah i love this pink it's just it's not bright it's not heavy it's not too light it's just like right there in between it's my favorite so I started painting furniture about two to three years ago um, 
I started doing it just because we had just moved and I wanted to furnish the, the house, but I wanted to do it on a budget and I wanted it to look different. I've been inspired by Debbie's Design Diary for years. There's this video of Jamie Ray Vintage that she takes this piece and turns it into like this boho madness thing and I have been wanting to do that for years and I said, you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. And I've been painting furniture ever since and it's been a really great artistical outlet and then from there it is just evolved because obviously once you start doing this you are literally rescuing furniture from going to the landfill and it is now that I'm just beginning to realize this is what I'm doing I am this is my way of giving back to Gaia you know like yes I recycle but <sighs> anyway I think this is a great idea you know just turning old into new and giving a new life and just it's like it had its, its own spirit in a way So on the drawers, I only did two coats. That's really all I needed. Um, and it had great coverage. And once I sealed them, like I said, no bleed through. So that was great. Now here, you're going to see how I was trying to blend in tea rose with sandbar. Now, in my mind, this should have worked, right? On paper, this worked. It looked amazing. But once I did it, like the sandbar looked too light almost. I think, I don't know. You can see it for yourself. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it, it just, it's not what I was envisioning and I hated it. <laughs> so I had to go over it. So I used more tea rolls than I really needed to. This whole thing could have just taken two coats of boss and two coats of tea rolls and called it a day but no i had this vision i left it here just so that you can see you know that that this was going to be the original <laughs> thing and it evolved just like nature <laughs> of the sandbar. So I'm 
gonna go in with a second coat of sandbar and tea rose and see what happens. This is beyond frustrating. So I ended up giving the drawers just two coats of tea rolls and then I'm using the stencil which I don't remember where I got um, and I'm using Pea Coat by Country Chic. Um, it's my first time using this paint. I enjoyed it. However, it dries super fast. So if you're doing something like this where you're stenciling, you have to work fast with it. Otherwise, it's just, it's just, anyway, it's just going to dry. Um, I counted the the strands um, so if you're doing something similar maybe keep that in mind um, just so that everything looks the same and I probably shouldn't be using this brush but um I I like to use what I have but then it kind of backfires as you can tell but I fixed that just fine I just went over it with um, a little bit more of the tea rolls and it was fine um, I will say though if you do have something like that and you go over it with um, the paint and you're not covering like the whole um, drawer definitely sand it afterwards um, because once you seal it you can tell the difference um, so yeah and I repeated the same step for all the drawers and on the bottom of the dresser Okay, and here you can see clearly why I shouldn't be using this brush, but my name is Francesca and I kind of do what I want. So, <laughs> but it's okay because we can fix this, we can fix this. I just went in with the artist brush and I just went over it with tea rolls. Um, this doesn't always work, sometimes this backfires, um, but in this case I got lucky. I went very light handed with it. Um, just because I've made the mistake of screwing this up in a past project. So if this happens, just be patient and take your time so that you don't mess up your stencil work. Once this dries I sand it down a little bit and I wipe off the dust now here you're gonna see the back side of the dresser and this was driving me nuts so I wanted to use um, caulk on this but my husband decides that he could just use whatever so this is similar to regular caulking the white stuff um, but this is gel and I did not like this. However, like I said, we're on a budget. So I'm using a squeegee just to squeeze it all out. Um, it did make a difference, but not really. Now, 
um the drawers weren't really sliding in very well so i got this um felt from amazon which i'll leave the link below and i just cut them in half except for the first drawer because it's, it's smaller and i put them on the side i did measure however how much i would need this is a uh, one eighth because i did have a quarter um inch of space between the drawers and this um and that's adding both sides so this was one eighth and it worked perfectly and it did help the drawers slide in better and not um like move to the sides um because this is a handmade dresser there wasn't i was limited to what i could and could not do and i'm not an expert so i got crafty and this is what i came up with and it worked okay now i'm sealing with dixie bell um sealer and flat and i did two coats on every drawer and the rest of the piece um however once i sealed it then that's when i saw the tannings on one side of the dresser and that is the most annoying and most frustrating thing that could happen to you after you've done all this work and you think you're done <laughs> and you think you're on to the last step and nope nope that's not what it decided to do so i'm just sealing it this was before i saw the tannings and then i tried to cover it up as you'll see here coming up um but it wasn't working So here you can barely tell, I probably could have gotten away with this, but I didn't want to, but here are the tannings. So I try to cover them up um, with a stencil here by DIY and the Peacoat by Country Chic. And this probably would have worked in another piece, but for this one it's just, it wasn't doing what I needed to do. Um, it laid on very pretty. But then when I did the second layer, cause I, my idea was to go all the way from the top of the dresser all the way down, like to create like a line with the stencil, but I couldn't connect it properly. And it, then it went to the side and I was like, screw this. I'm not, I'm not wasting my time. I didn't want to waste more paint. So I wiped this down and then I sanded both sides of the dresser down a little bit. I did two coats of boss because I wanted no more surprises and then I did two more coats of tea rolls. So a lot of paint was wasted in this dresser. So yeah, when in doubt, just prime twice and just buy the second one. <laughs> are you posing? Um, no. No? What are you doing? And now I stage, which I don't really enjoy because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> right. I added legs to this and new knobs. So this dresser did not have legs and it just, it, it, it was missing it. So I got them from Amazon. I'll link them below. Thank you so much for watching. I sold this piece before I could even finish editing or filming or anything of the sort. I couldn't film anymore because I used my phone to uh, record these videos and I ran out of storage. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I left in the clips where I used the sandbar with the tea rolls and how I try to blend it together just to show and just to not discredit even my idea that sometimes you have an idea in place, but once you put it on your canvas, it's just not what you thought. And even though it looked, the two colors looked great when I put them side by side, as you can tell, it just, it wasn't saying anything. So um, I'm happy how it turned out. I'm glad I was able to save it. <laughs> and I'm happy I was able to sell it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do intend to make much more videos on painting, on 
chit chats and and whatnot and so yeah anyway have a great week i'll see you next time bye <laughs>